What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beverly Default. Last episode, you guys, we, um, well, we got thrown in jail, and now we're gonna fight Adia's dad. Because, why not? Well, let's see how all this turned out. I am Brave Lee, the Templar. Grand. Yeah, I'd and I don't care. Alright, I'm just gonna default for the first turn. Oh. Uh, so did he actually. Um. Alright. Hello, wait. Is he just gonna keep doing this? Okay then, that uh... That hurt. Wait, if I did... Oh, okay. Kill everybody. And attack. You just attack. Oh, let's see how much he likes fire. I love him just standing there and taking it. He just killed his own daughter. Can't have that. Alright. Razor. Then heal everybody. Yeah, in case he he dies again. And you guys yeah, do this. Damn yeah, he likes, um, lizard. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's weak the dog. Damn. I don't have that. Do I have anything I can... No. I'm gonna do that. Wow. I mean, for a second I thought he was going after his daughter. Oh, that didn't seem nearly as impactful. I wonder if that's because, um, he didn't buff it? I don't know. Is that what, like, his, 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 like, gimmick is? Like, he defaults and then deals damage based on how many defaults he has? Maybe. Time to get up, Ringo Bell. Can't have you lying around like this. Right. K. 
Kyoto. Might as well use this, uh, flag on wave. And the final, everyone else just defaults all this time. Oh my, he survived a 93 HP. Okay. You shall not pass. Phase two. Phase two, okay. Do this and then to steal his help of magic. Not a lot, but eh. I think it all looks out. Okay. You know, everybody, and then let's see how much HP we gotta take down. Okay, we're about halfway now. Alrighty. Now it's time for me to go on the offensive. Wait, um, Uh. 
Maybe. I don't know if he's still in default. But just in case. Get um some of the magic back. Oh, you're not gonna get a lot. Okay. Well, that um. Was not ideal. But I can deal with that. damage him. Okay. Alright, raised his. Heal him. It was Avi Pogia that she got the final hit. Well, I know who's becoming this. you speak. You are ever the strength that keeps me alive. And I love you and a dear dearly. Father? Father! Oh, that's when you betray them. Do not fear. He is merely unconscious. Really? I thought we could only get those asterisks from people we killed. His wounds, they will heal. Though it will take some time. And he may never wield his sword again. <laughs> Mother, I... I took up arms against Father. I told myself I was ready to fight him. Even if it meant shortening his years. Then surely you will not stray from your path, so long as you hold that feeling near and dear. By your actions, you have finally granted your father a reprieve from his anguished struggle. It was for the best. Mother, we now go to awaken the Earth Crystal. I see. Forgive me. 
There is no need to ask my forgiveness. Oh, but there is, Mother. For if we awaken the crystal, your treatments will no longer be possible. We will no longer be able to keep what ails you at bay. What sort of daughter does that to her mother? Oh, Adia, you truly are your father's daughter. And that is what makes you even more dear to me. Mother! How very touching. I beg pardon for my interruption, but your fear is misplaced. Well, huh? and you are. Of course, you have yet to see me in this form. I am Lester De Rosso. But you may address me as Lord De Rosso. <laughs> what do you mean our fear is misplaced? It appears you have underestimated the Templar's great deeds. Deeds for which he risked life and limb. Oh. For he has advanced science and medicine in this land by a hundred years. While complete cures may not yet be possible, sickness and disease can be prevented from further progression. Hey. Awakening the crystal shall not rob your mother of such mortal life as she has left. Yay. So then... We're free to awaken the crystal. <sighs> Dear... Ironic, is it not? To think I would be the one to urge the Wind Vestal and her companions to awaken the crystal. Well, it's not ironic. I can see purpose unwavering in your eyes. Tis as if I gaze upon Brave the Templar in his youth. And yet, there is still much that you cannot fathom. Like what? I have seen years measuring in thousands. Hope and sentiment intertwined with right and wrong, good and evil. The rise and fall of the Orthodoxy, the restoration of Eternia, the two conflicting beliefs concerning the crystals. So much may happen in a life immortal. <laughs> The way to Everlast Tower is beyond this door. Let's go! Just staring at that journal fit to burn a hole in it. Might as well as seeing stopped coughing up prophecies. But who was the author in the end? I can hope but wonder. Did someone in the past foretell what the four of us would do? Or are the us in the book actual other people who lived in the past? Other people whose doings perfectly overlap with our own? Both theories are equally hard to believe. According to the text, you've met the book's author before, Agnes. Any recollection? No, I'm entirely... I'm not entirely without my suspicions, but I fear they must be wrong. After all, you don't recall writing it. Do you ring a bell? Wait, are you saying ring a bell did this? Me? I'm afraid not. And the author claims to have saved your life, Tiz. Do you remember anything? No, I've always assumed it was Owen that rescued me. And, Adia, the author claims he's madly in love with you. Any ideas so I can pummel him? If I said no, I'd be lying. What? I I'm saying I have my suspicions who the boys in love with me are concerned. But the facts don't add up for either of them. Either? I find myself twice as angry. The world can still be trusted, the book says. It says the three of you are going to meet the author if we keep on fucking up. Is Ringable the author? Ow, did he travel back in time and lost his memory? We have Krista with us. Let's hurry to Everlast Tower. Seconded, I reckon the Krista has to be our top priority. 
Are we on? Why? I'm so confused. Like, like legitimately, I, I, I have no idea. God damn, we might not be at the end of this anytime soon. Which, don't get me wrong. I like that. Also, uh, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. I like that. I like them a lot. Alright. Where was the one for... Yeah. Hmm. I guess she doesn't have one for the temple just yet. But, yeah, that's honestly weird. Like, well, who wrote it? Well, someone who had to have known all this. I don't know. I I, I, I can't wait to see, honestly, like, what the, what the plot is. But anyway, um, I'm actually going to leave it off here, guys. Because I feel like if I press onward, I'm going to end up recording like a 50 minute video. Which, don't get me wrong, that would be nice. But, um, I kind of want to leave what happens next. You know. Also, I kind of want time to level up Adia's job. So... She can at least be on pause, everyone else. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like on this video. Uh, comment down below on, you know, what do you think of that uh, father versus daughter conflict? Um, I mean, father versus daughter and her friends, but you know what I mean. Um, if you guys have played this game before, um, I, I, I know I probably shouldn't have to ask, but please no spoilers. If you guys already know the plot, um, please. Um, if you guys want to go check out my other series on my channel, I am currently playing through God of War Ragnarok and Pokemon Scarlet with Zoo. Um, about as much co-op as it can be <laughs> in that game. And if you guys want to see that series live before it goes up on my channel, um, head over to Zero's Twitch channel where he'll be streaming his version of events, basically. Um, so, yeah. And as always, guys, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe, join my alliance. It, it really means a lot to me. We are really close to 100 subscribers. Um, so I really want to see if we can reach that before, I don't know, let, let, let's say my, you know, before May. Let's see if we can do that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I know it's a short episode. I apologize, but um, it's like early in the morning for me, so I want to try and get some sleep. But anyway, guys, um, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys on my other videos, on my other series uh, in 2023. So, Happy New Year!